Okay, home kids. While I'm here, I figured I might as well uh, do a little bit of raw raw. Uh, and I thought, dude, I'll go to YouTube or whatever. Not YouTube. I did go to YouTube. That's why uh, learning experts do not suggest sending your students to YouTube because you get lost in YouTube. I totally was watching Ice Cube's song. I didn't know that he had a You Can Do It song. Um, if it was a little more appropriate, I would have posted it, but um, anyway. Uh, one of the most important things about tackling your first exam for this class and any big class, especially a big science class, um, you have to recognize that you're probably not going to know everything and you have to go in with a, a growth mindset, good attitude. So what I know is that you guys have been giving each other awesome tips. I'm hearing that Caesars epic sessions are well attended. I'm seeing you guys talking to each other in the Muddy Fun discussions and supporting each other through the labs and taking the quizzes and taking them multiple times and doing very well. Um, you guys are actually doing really well in this class right now. The exams are going to be hard. Like, you can't use your notes. You can't look stuff up. Like, yeah, that's going to be hard. Um, but it is what it is, and if you let your brain, like, talk yourself out of being successful, you'll get a lower score than you would if you let your brain go, dude, I am sort of a rock star taking this super intense class online over the summer um, and, and, like, give it a shot. Here's some positive good things. First of all, first exams are always hard. They just are um, because you don't really know what to expect, really. And so even though I'm telling you it's going to be a hard exam, um, you don't really know until you get in there and do it. There's redemption in this class. I don't know if you've looked ahead to see, but there is a comprehensive final exam. And that comprehensive final exam covers everything that we've covered so far. And um, if you do better on the comprehensive final than on one of your midterms, or many of your midterms, but your lowest midterm, I'll replace it with your comprehensive final. So at any point, if you chunk something, that's okay. That does not sink you in this class. So take the pressure off. You've been working hard. You've been studying. You've been learning. You're not going to remember everything probably. So give yourself a break and go in with kind of a problem-solving approach and do the very best that you can. Um, if you are, you know, hopefully you get through the stuff and, like, you've watched all the lectures, you've participated in everything, you've done all the labs, and then you'll have a little bit of time to study. And when you're studying, if you come across something, definitely focus on the discussions, the quizzes, um, the questions that I ask. Um, focus on the things that you've been already assessed on. That will definitely help guide you. The study guide questions posted at the bottom of the lectures, awesome. Those will definitely help guide you. Um, the textbook should be a support resource. If you are going through going, oh, my God, I can't remember everything in the textbook, none of us can. So um, that's not where I'm pulling questions from. If you come across content while you're studying that you feel like, dude, I have never even seen this before in my life, what does this mean? My advice at this stage in the game is punt. Like, dude, don't even bother, don't even spend time studying that because there's a ton of other stuff to study that um, you're closer to mastering. Does that make sense? If it's something that, like, if you haven't been participating in the Muddy Fun discussions and, you know, it's something about, say, surface area to volume ratio, which was your whole lab, um, you probably shouldn't punt on something that we had an entire activity based around, right? And so, um, but if you've been present and participating and paying attention and conscious 
then if you come across something you've never seen before, dude, get it out. You don't have time for that. The time that it would take you to tackle that concept and put it into your brain is probably more, you could probably tackle four concepts that you're sort of familiar with and get those into your brain in the same time it would take you to do the one concept that you're like, ah, never seen before. I'm telling you how to prioritize limited time because my feeling is that we all have limited time this semester or this summer, right? So um, I'm telling you how to sort of tackle this challenge. If you find things that you know and you know you know them, don't study them anymore. Like done. Like trust that you know it. Trust that it will stick in there. Take your time when you're taking the exam. Don't, like, let it come out. You'll be fine. Focus in on those things where we talked about it. You just want to get the things into your head. I've heard several people talk about the hierarchical organization of living systems. Dude, that's worth, like, committing to memory. So do what you got to do to have that in your brain. That's a good thing to, to know well. Um, and I say that to you because um, I know what's on the exam, so probably worth your time. If you have any questions, give a holla holla. Um, I'm super impressed at the work you're doing so far, so keep a positive attitude and um, you can do it. Well, we can do it. I can do it. We all can do this. All right. I got to, I'm going to have to, I don't even know how, where, there. That's how I turn it off. Bye-bye.